Welcome to the piano studio of Lisa Bailey. We are still in Carol Matz's favorite solos, book two, but we are moving right along. Secret Agents is our next song, page 17, 18, and 19. So let me play this one for you and then we will talk about it. job oh my goodness this piece is so much fun so much fun so we have some very interesting things happening in this piece first of all we have staccato in the left hand at the same time that the right hand is doing legato so I a couple places I did not do that well I think it was here in measure 9 and then again here in measure 13 I think those were the two spots but you can do better than I can so work on that you I would recommend practicing this one hand separately because there's a lot of stuff going on so start off with hands separate all the way through and learn each part well and then when you're ready put them hands together but keep that articulation as you go so we have lots of staccato and legatos. We also have these rests here. So you wanna make sure you let go of the right hand as the left hand plays that second note there. And then you have both hands are resting here. Then we go in here. So those rests are very, very important and they happen all through the piece in various locations. When we get to measure 17, you saw me move my left hand down an octave. So the left hand is, but the right hand stays put. And we're, you're going to want to watch for that crescendo in this little section where there are no words. There are also accents. So even though we are have, excuse me, even though we have piano for our dynamics, these notes here with the accent need to be stronger. They need to be emphasized a little bit more. So there's one here and there's one here. And then, of course, you have your crescendo up to forte here. Okay. Um, your hands are mainly in the D5 finger scale with some sharps. Remember that once a sharp is applied in a measure, it applies for the rest of that measure. So that happens in several places. So watch out for that. And um, yep, accent at the end. This one does not have a retardando in it like many of the other pieces do back in My Favorite Food. We had a retardando with a fermata, but this one does not. So we don't really have a place that we can stop and take a breath, and that's okay. This piece is such a fun one to play. Please reach out if you have any questions. You can leave a comment below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me in this video, and I'll see you next time.